Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hello everybody, the old captain here, and we got a video request, and if you have a request, doesn't have to be video or not, it could just simply be a question. I don't know why everybody wants to be on the interwebs or the YouTube, but you know, I, I do do private consultations on email. Go to assholeconsulting.com, and I guarantee you one thing, I ain't gonna lie to you, I ain't gonna spare your feelings, I'll just tell you the honest goddamn truth, and that's why it's a steal at $100 an hour, because... If you're allowed to speak truthfully, it doesn't take more than 10 or 15 minutes to tell you the fucking truth. It's, it's, it's such a racket. It's such a fucking racket. Pay us $400 an hour to lie to you to sort of maybe bend you around to maybe sort of figuring out the truth. That's why psychologists make a, like, you have one client, you can live off that person forever. It's just, it's just, hey, if you ain't got time, you want the truth, you're going to know you're going to die, come talk to me, I'll tell you the truth. Anyway. Young man writes, hey asshole, I just want to start off by saying your videos are perhaps the most insightful and informative videos on YouTube thus far. They are not insightful, they are not, well they are informative, they're just truthful. There's no genius, there's no brilliance behind this work, it's just truth. It really is that simple. Uh, let me cut to the chase, I'm a 17 year old high school senior, living in... Yeah, there we go. Everybody's gonna contact me while I'm in the middle of it. Ever, I'm, uh, so where we go? I am a 17-year-old high school senior living in Silicon Valley. Ever since I was a freshman, I knew that electrical engineering was the ideal career for me as it heavily incorporates mathematics and programming, both of which I'm immensely passionate about. All right, good. There you go. Recently, however, I experienced a setback in my path for becoming an electrical engineer. I was accepted to my top school of choice at the University of California, Santa Barbara with a substantial amount of scholarship and grant money as well as the University of Massachusetts, Amherst, and San Francisco State University. I was only accepted as an electrical engineering major at San Francisco State, but I do not want to attend because of the absorbent price tag, poor graduation rate, and poor reputation prospects for this engineering department. So don't go there. That, that's number one. And, and I'm saying that because it's San Francisco. Just don't go there. You're not going to like it. At UC Santa Barbara and UC UMass Amherst, I was uh, deferred as an electrical engineering major but accepted as a mathematics major. My question to you is what alternative path should I take to eventually become an electrical engineer by attending UC Santa Barbara? I've heard numerous suggestions from others. The first involves working my ass off my freshman year so I can have a small chance in transferring to UC Santa Barbara's College of Engineering. Another suggestion was to graduate with a math degree and go to graduate school for education. No, 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 don't, don't go to graduate school. Dude, you either get your fucking... Look, <clears throat> I don't care what school you apply to. Go do your two years, you get your fucking worthless prerequisites, and then apply to any school that's cr accredited, like Champaign-Urbana. Even the University of Minnesota has reputable engineering programs uh, that you should get your bachelor's degree in, and that should get you a job. This bullshit, you gotta go get a master's, fuck them, fuck that. No. You, all you need is a bachelor's. The, the advanced degrees, that's when you start getting in these pontificating fake uh, priests and caliphates that uh, want to, you know, extrapolate even more money out of you. So, uh, I know your focus is on Massachusetts and California, but you should be able to find yourself a college out there somewhere that'll take you as an electrical engineering major. And you don't need to go like, oh, I'll do an undergrad and look what they're asking. Oh, you should just do four years of your life and fork over a hundred thousand, then another two years of your life and fork over another hundred thousand. And maybe, maybe we won't suck your dick, but we'll acknowledge you have one. Fuck that. There's plenty of schools out there that offer legitimate electrical engineering degrees and programs, and uh, you don't need your masters. Go, go find a school that'll take you. <clears throat> Where we go? Transfer. Another suggestion was graduated. Great. This option interests me because I have a good chunk of AP credit and I will have my third semester of calculus finished by summer, which means graduating in three years as an undergrad is a viable route. 
Another option is to transfer to a better school after two years in an electrical engineering major. Regardless, I'm going to try my hardest during my freshman year in academics. Okay, if, if I'm going to operate from that premise. I'm going to operate from the premise you're getting fucking a 4.0. You're not fucking dicking around. Okay? Because it would change. My advice will change if you're like, Oh, well, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, social justice warrior. <laughs> like, if you're one of those dipshits, I'll fuck you. Uh, what do you think I should do? I not transfer into the College of Engineering UC Barfa. Okay, look. Here's why I think what's going on, and that's why I asked you about it. A lot of people don't know what the background is on that. I think what they're doing is they're getting so many applicants that they're going to weed you out. In my day, we called them weeder classes. Calc 1, Calc 2, Calc 3, some other very strenuous, mathematically intense classes. And then if you made it through that, then like most people would flush out, or flush out and then um, the real ones would go on. I think what these schools are doing nowadays is saying... You become a mathematics major, and if you prove yourself the first two years, then you could apply to the School of Engineering. So, as the options you present to me now, I would say go to uh, Santa Barbara, because that's where you want to go. It has a very high reputation, uh, based on your research. And, uh, basically, you kick ass and take names. No fucking around, man. No fucking around. That's your future life. That's 60 years. That is from today till you're dead. That is dependent upon you getting good grades in that mathematics major. So you do your one or two years in mathematics with the intention of getting your degree in electrical engineering. They say, okay, now we'll accept you into it. Otherwise, you know what? Fuck them and fuck that. I think you could find there are so many schools out there and this bubble is bursting. I think it's going to be a seller's market. I think with your background, your expertise, I mean, you're 17 years old, you got all these AP classes. I, I know you're within the California system. I would start seeing, I, and I know you've already sent out your applications, so maybe it delays you by a year, but your first year is going to be pissed away on unnecessary but necessary prerequisite bullshit. <sighs> Go to the local community college or the U of Santa Barbara, whatever. Get your fucking prereqs out of the way. Learn, because you, you don't know English, right? So you got to take English comp again because you don't fucking. Obviously, by the email that you sent me, which is perfectly clear to me, but it's not, you know, it's not perfectly clear to everybody else because obviously you don't have a degree in English and you and I don't have a degree in communication. So it's amazing you and it's only statistical coincidence that you and I could converse like this. Get your piss ass, shit ass, crappy prereqs out of the way at an accredited university. And then what I would do is go find a university that ain't going to make you jump through a fucking way. You got to mathematics major. Seriously, Urbana-Champaign, now this is only because I live in the area, but there are many other universities. Georgia Tech, I, find out what these schools require hurdles for you to jump through. See if they're in like, yeah, you got good GPA, you got like a lot of AP stuff. Join our uh, electrical engineering department. In other words, I don't think you've done enough research, frankly. And I know I know you think that the, the gate has passed or the window has passed for you to... Uh, Send in applications, but uh, yeah, no, apply a little free market. And I know you got to pay an application fee, I know that. But call them up and say, hey, look, are you going to make me go? I mean, seriously, call them up. Do I have to like go through this hurdle of like getting a mathematics major to prove to you, or can I just apply directly to electrical engineering? That's what I would do. So, for now, because you've already committed to this path and it's too late to apply for the next year. Go to the University of California, Santa Barbara, as a mathematics major. You kick motherfucking ass. You get your 4.0. I'll allow 1A minus or 2A minuses. That's fine because sometimes professors are... Sometimes. All the time, professors are douches. But... In your free time, you're looking at other schools that are just as accredited and ain't going to give you this fucking run around with me. You're going to major mathematics. And then uh, apply maybe for those schools. Uh, but it, I really do think it's a hurt. I just wish they wouldn't impose this on you. That you got to go and major in mathematics to prove you deserve to be in electrical engineering. I, I understand why, because... K through 12 education has so been dumbed down. It's basically K through four. I don't care about the eight extra years. It's just K through four. That's all it is. So yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. UC Santa Barbara. Go there. Do not fuck it up. It's only yours to fuck it up. 
but then start looking. I mean, here. Does it seem unfair they're making you go into mathematics when you've proven yourself already K through 12? I mean, you're an adult. You're almost an adult. And they're still giving you the dick around, run around. Find a better school. I mean... I, really, truthfully, me personally, if I ever ran a company, I'll never from the, I'll never hire from the Ivy League, and I will never hire from the University of California. I will go Georgia Tech. I'll go some other Southern state. I'll go Texas. I'll go the uh, Augies. I'll go some other place where like there's a reasonable amount of adulthood and non bullshittery going on. And I know you like Santa Barbara. I do, but. God almighty, the fact of making you do that, it just reeks of, reeks of academia and bullshit. Sorry. But anyway, that's my advice. I think you're selling yourself short. Spend another month or two trying to find another school to go to. In the meantime, go to the University of California, Santa Barbara. Maybe you'll say, this is where I belong. Yay. And then, you know, maybe you get your electrical engineering degree there. But there are other schools out there, and I think you ought to investigate them and, um, I know you you have this compunction, like, I gotta get this degree, I gotta get I gotta apply it. Again, no one's gonna take you seriously until you're 35, so it's not like you're in a rush. Best of luck. Toodles.